Hello, welcome back to your Oracle DBA tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about very basic concept about locking. So let's take an example that oh, we have uh, two boxes. So let's say this is called box A. And then we have another box called box B. Okay. And then in this box, let's say I have something, there's a paper where I have written 100. And in this box, there is a paper where I have written 200. All right. Let's say I have two people. So this is, you know, person P1 and here is another person P2. What I'm saying is that the, both the person P1 and P2 go and read. Then after you read, whatever value you get change you subtract that value with 10 so deduct 10 from that value and let's just basically write it properly so first thing is step is read and then deduct 10 from whatever you read and then what is the what is the final final amount you write that Okay, so this is a three instruction that I have given to this person P1 and P2. Okay, so now I ask P1 go to box A and I ask P2 go to box B. So therefore P1 is going to read 100 and then P1 is going to deduct, you know, whatever the value is 100 minus 10 is 90 and then write that 90 to this box A. So therefore, what I'm going to see here, I'm going to see here. 90. Similarly, P2 is going to box B and he reads 200 and subtract 10 from there and then he got it 190. Okay. So, so far so good. Everything is just fine. Whatever we expected. Now, let's do one thing. Now, let's remove this box B. Okay. So we just have only box A. Let's say to start with, we have 100 here. So now what I'm saying is, I'm asking this P1 and P2 to do the same operation, read, deduct, write from here. So that means P1 goes to box A and P2 also go to box, box A, the same box. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen. So P1 goes there. Let's say P1 uh, reaches there first. Okay, and then P1 saw that first operation is read, right? So now it is P1 and he reads 100. And then P2, P2 reads at the box. Then P2, whenever he goes there, P2 also read 100. Right? Then what happens? P1 said that okay, I have to deduct. Okay, so P1 then does the deduction step, and P1 just 100 minus 10, he make it 90. Okay, and then for whatever reason, P1, you know, so P1 after you know P1 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 deduce this thing to 90, and also P2 also deduced the because he also sees, uh, you know, P2 also got 100, so therefore his number is 90. Okay. Then, let's say P1 writes back. So, let's say P1 writes back, so it, it was 100. So, P1 writes 90 now. Then, P2 also can go on and writes back. And then, P1 also, you know, writes whatever P, whatever P1 wrote. P2 went and override those things again to 90. Okay. So, if you see, we say that, you know, there's two deduction happen. Like one deduction by P1, another deduction by P2. But actually, it looks like only one deduction is gone and second deduction is just overwritten. Okay. That means, like, you know, whoever is going to write first, his his update is gone because eventually the other person is going to come and then override that one. So essentially what happens here 
we seeing a problem that problem is called lost update problem okay so this problem was not there whenever they are accessing different boxes box a and box b but whenever they are trying to access the same box and trying to change and depending on who changed the last his update his or her update is going to be uh, you know uh, going to be there but whoever is going to update first his update or his or her update is going to be lost and this is a very typical problem whenever we are going to share something a share because this is this box is a resource and this box is shared across two persons p1 and p2 right so if you share this kind of thing then you might have this problem of lost update so if you got the problem of lost update and how to solve the solution is also very simple that what you can do this is a box right so in that box like right, what you do you put a lock in the box okay so that means if somebody so you put a lock in the box and let's say like you know after you put the lock what is going to happen so let's say this is p1 okay and then this is your p2 so let's say and we, we, are, we are also going to do the same operations right that is read deduct write okay so if you want to do the same operation so now let's say the first one is p1 goes there so when p1 goes there and see like you know if that if this box is locked or somebody else is you, you know if it's open and then what he says that oh okay so this looks like nobody is doing anything he opened the box and once you open the box he saw the number 100 so when he is inside that box doing this change and write then what he is going to do he is going to put a lock in the box okay so that means the way it is going to go so p1 goes to the box first so this is a box a so p1 goes to the box and then see if the box is box is uh, you know is there to use or somebody else has locked if the box is there free then the first thing you will do you will lock the box so who locked the box in this case in this case p1 locked the box then p1 reads then you, you know deduct you know whatever he reads and then write so like you know while p1 is in this step of deducting let's say p2 arrives there because we told we, we tell both p1 and p2 to go on and do all these three steps right so when p2 goes there and p2 says that oh okay because he cannot enter the box because somebody else has already locked it right so therefore p2 is going to wait p2 is going to wait until p1 finishes read deducts write then after write what he say he is done so he release the lock when he release the lock that means the box is again free now so when the p2 is going there is waiting p2 is going to say well like i can enter now then what p2 is going to do p2 is going to lock the box then and this is good done by p2 right and then p2 is going to read deduct right and once it's finished then he is going to release the lock so if this is the case so let's see how that same thing happened like you know, whatever you know like you know, let's see like you know if our lost update problem like you know so we asked both of them you know to do all this thing but still the you know they got two you know p1 and p2 both deduct 10 so if you deduct two tens from 100 the answer should be 80 but the answer is 90 here and we know why the 90 because of lost update problem and let's see by doing these steps can we arrive an answer of 80 so first you know the box p1 is going to go there so p1 looks reads so p1 got 100 and p1 deduct 100 minus 10 become 90 and then p1 is going to write that one 90 so therefore after p1 releasing the lock the value is no more 100 the value is actually the value is 90 over here then 
P2 P2 was waiting. So once P2 P1 is releasing the locks, P2 just grab that lock and then P2 enters to the box. And P2 is saying that oh well I have 90, right? So I have 90. So P2 when we going to read, he will get 90 here. Then he's going to you know, then then that guy is going to deduct 10. So after deduct become 80, and then after writing it becomes 80. So finally the answer is 80 over here. So essentially, whenever you are accessing a shared resource, very important, shared resource, to manage concurrent transaction, we must need to have some sort of locking mechanism to give you a consistent and correct result. If you do not do that, then we might face this problem of lost update. All right. So, this is what is all the basics about locking and now remove this box instead of box imagine this is a block in database table and probably here that is a emp row is going to be is there instead of just number 80 we have employee record and then this p1 p2 is nothing they are different sessions giving update insert select or whatever sql statements Alright, so if you imagine that, then what kind of locking mechanism do Oracle or any RDBMS is going to implement so that we are going to get a consistent and correct result. And in the next couple of videos, we are going to discuss in more detail about locking, how Oracle does that. And then since you remember that is a, there is something that is a weight, this weight is going to be problem because you know it is going to degrade performance. Then but still at the, same, at, at, the, at the same time, we are going to lock. Whenever we are working in a shared resource, if you do not lock, then you will get conflicts. Okay. So that is why how you know Oracle will manage so that there will be a trade-off between the conflict and the wait time. But Oracle manages very well and then we will see, we'll see those, those things in the next couple of videos.